Our next guests, Rustic Pallets, Maria and Daniel. Hello, folks. Hello, How nice are you doing? You. Nice to see you, Daniel. How's it going? Uh, you guys uh, take old, used pallets and make them into new cool furniture and things, right? Yes. How did you, you start this business? We started this business... By accident. By accident. I bet. I bet it was yes. by accident. It was out of a pallet bed. It all started from a pallet bed that my daughter gave us a picture. And from there on, I put it up in the Facebook and just from there on Okay, so wait. So you, a pallet is what? Four by four? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> you take how many pallets? Two, three, four? Really to depends, make the bed. Depends on the size of the bed. Like mine was a size, a queen size, so it took what two, four, six, eight, about ten, ten pallets. It took. Ten pallets for just the base. Yes. Yeah. And then do you use pallet wood to use for the headboard and the footboard too? Yes. yes. Do we have a picture of the bed? Mm. I'd like, I'd like to see it. It's it now. It, what, it looks like a farm bed when it comes out, right? Yeah. Your daughter, yeah. your daughter wanted this. Came to Daniel and said, "Would you make one for me?" Because you're a woodworker, <laughs> what, what is, what's your background? Uh, no, we always, I mean, I always do a, a welding. Okay, you're a welder? So, yeah, so she came with idea and I just do it. Really? Just make yeah. It, yeah. We have some pictures of some stuff and you guys at home, remember that every <laughs> single one of these pieces of furniture we're going to see is made out of pallet wood. Is this a bar? Yes. Oh my bar. God, that's cool. How big is that? I want a six by six by 42 tall. 42 inches tall, six by six. Yes. And this, oh my gosh, this is such a great idea. These, this is a gates at the bottom of a set of stairs? Yes, yeah. those are baby gates. That is awesome. How's, how big, what's the size of those gates? Uh, for that one, it was, I think, 40 foot, 42 inches tall. Okay. And, you know, so the So you make wide. those gates and then go to the house and install them also? Yes. Yes. That was whose idea was that? That was it the person's idea or yours to make those? Uh, customer's idea. That's a brilliant idea. Uh, uh, since you've made those, have other people wanted them? Oh yeah. Yeah. I They're bet. going like crazy right now. I those. Bet. What what is what is the the stairway gate cost? It really depends on the size and how you want it. Because uh -huh. there's different sizes and different ways you want them. Mm -hmm. That one right there, the lady we made it for her for um, 180. No kidding. Wow, mm -hmm. we. Uh, uh, are these the front gates to someone's house? Yes. yes. It's a client that we had, um, Levy. Um, we just got them finishing that this weekend that passed by. Was that a stone fence and then you added the, the wooden uh, gate? Yes, yeah. they, they put those posts there. And they, she wanted something unique, something to look nice. Um, and she came to us and she told us that if we do it for her, sure, you just give us the idea how you want it and we'll make it for you. Okay, again, what was the cost on something like that? That one it was for 750 750 Yes. You go out and price those kind of gates out of the store <laughs> and know, you know that's a great idea or a yeah. great deal. What is this right here? A kitchen block? That one right oh, there. Oh, laundry. No, that one right there is a table. a table that you put in the middle of a living room in the kitchen. I like that. When I said laundry, I'm looking at that thing, seeing those baskets underneath right there, and a, a, a folding station on top, and the mm -hmm. basket. I'm all about it. <laughs> that, that, that looks like a that looks like a big a unit. How big was that? That one, I think it was like seven foot long. Wow by, I think it's a 32 high. The pallets, how do, you, how do you come across them? Do you see them laying on the side of the road and pick them up? Do you, where, where do you get your pallets? Well, we do because you can't really get the, you could see the pallets, but they're really hard because they have to be HTC. And HTC is heated treated because the other ones, if you get any chemical other ones, treated. they have cream, chemical treated and you could get sick off of it. Okay. So what we do, we go to the pallet yard and we get our pallets. We pay for them. And they're exp they're not cheap, are no, they? No, they're not cheap. No. They're not. It really is hard not. to find the good ones too. Because they have to be, what, not cracked? They have to be somewhat yeah. straight? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can plane them probably a little bit if they're, if they're not <laughs> exactly straight, but if they're wobbly wobbly you don't even want to mess with them yeah right? you don't you don't now what kind of wood is a pallet made out of is it pine the pallet wood some of them you could end up getting them oak 
but it's really hard to get them oak. And when you get them oak, they're coming from Wyoming down that way. And the people that and are selling them know that they're oak yes, and they're, they're they cost oak. more yes, too, right? And they're really hard, hard to get loose. And but mainly the pallets, the regular pallets are out of common wood. Common wood is pine. Okay. So I mean, you could, you could get them new too. There's times if we can't get them like the way we want for a lot of customers that they want them to look new, we have to go buy them. I'm curious how 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 you take the pallet apart because mm -hmm. that that can't be easy to keep them from splitting and breaking when you're taking them apart too, right? It's not hard. I do that part. You um, do it. Yeah, you have to get a crowbar, a hammer, and it's very hard. Sometimes you break it, and you're like, yeah, yeah. right? Exactly, oh. exactly. <laughs> there's times I'm cussing out the world because there's times they'll put four or five nails in just one little piece of um, board, and it just makes it so because difficult. Because they're, they're using air tools, and yes. you're using your crowbar and your hammer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> look at this couch. Wow, we look at this couch. That is awesome right there. Yeah, it is. All, uh, all, all of it out of pallet wood and a nice sectional like that. Did someone commission that from you? Yes. As a matter of fact, a customer, she asked us for that one. And as a matter of fact, I have that one in my living room too. You're kidding. No, I have it, that one it, in my It's room. super, super cool. <laughs> How long does it take you to make something like that? Uh, well, sometimes, depending if we're really very busy, it takes us one or two weeks. That's and, it. Yeah, it's all depends if we can if we find the right palace to do that. Because we to spend almost one day just to just to uh, get that good palace for whatever. You build all the stuff at home, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That's so super cool. Are we, do we have any more pictures, Billy? We ran through. We ran. Th oh, we ran through them all. Okay. What is it? What's it before and after look like? What is that? Um, the before is the wall that we did. It didn't have nothing, and after is the pallet wall. Wow. That makes oh, it really I see. different. So that was just a plain wall in the before, mm -hmm. before picture. Yeah. And the after one is after you're finished laying all the pallet wood on the wall to give it a nice barn rustic look. Yes. yes. Very, yes. very, very cool. Uh, did you just do one, one wall in someone's house, or did you do the whole room? We just only did one um, room. She wanted it done in the room, so we, we did the whole the Everything? All mm -hmm. walls? Yeah. I bet it was cool when it's oh, finished. Oh, yeah, yeah. How many pieces of pallet would it take to do a room? Oh, <laughs> it took us, for that one alone, it took us about 120 pallets to do it. Wow. How many pieces of wood to a pallet? There's a tough piece. They can sometimes they can six pieces, eight pieces. And do you use the sides also? The rough cut sides, you use yeah. those? Do you use those for uh, stability uh, on the inside of the, the, the furniture? Yes, we yeah. make them tables out of those. We make them the frame. Those are our frames the to frame, our table. The legs. Awesome. And the reason why we use them is because it already has the cut there. Right. So right. it makes it easier for us. Cool. Uh, this last one we're going to see here, what is that? That's a bar that one of wow. our customers um, ordered, um, Christy. Uh, we did the first part, then we came back and we did the f finished part of it. That's just awesome, awesome you guys. Do you have a Facebook page? Yes, we Rustic do. Rustic Pallets? Yes. And we have a website page now, too. Okay. So you can look us up at rusticpallets.com. Uh -huh. And you could see all of our pictures up there that we have done, too. Awesome. Uh, turnaround time, a couple of weeks on most of your stuff? Yes. yes. It's, it's between from a week to two weeks. Okay. So. Do you want to throw out our phone number for anybody? Yeah, you could. Our number, you could reach us at 559-691-7231. Okay. <laughs> all right, rustic pallets. You saw all their cool stuff. If you want some rustic pallet, pallet furniture, call them up. Go to their Facebook. Go to rusticpallets.com. Whatever. But whatever you do, you tell them you saw them right here on the buzz. Hey, thank you, you guys, for coming. Oh, wait. We have a giveaway, Billy. Okay. Before we go, this is super cool, you guys. Look at this. A wine bottle holder. You stick the wine in here. It sticks up this way. And what? More hang here? No, right there, the glasses. The glasses yeah, hang the right wine there. Glasses. Very cool. If you like it, it's 579 1090. It can be yours. Rustic Pallets, thank you guys very much thank for coming by. Much. Always good to see you guys. Yeah, you too. Hey, we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back on the bus. Stick around. <laughs>